Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike. It's Dan. It's Yi. So Olympics is going on and one of the biggest stories out there is the reaction of this beautiful sweetheart of a swimmer Yep. Um, in, in her interview. I saw, we saw the, the, the JPEG of yeah. the reaction. Yeah. We never saw the interview. We never watched the interview before. So I wanna, let's, let's, yeah. let's watch this. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch, uh, we're gonna watch her semifinal and finals reaction. Yeah. And what's amazing, what I love about the story is you didn't even know that the final, what was gonna happen in the final. But it, the story became so much better of what happened in the final. Right. <laughs> it's pretty adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, her expression is pretty, that's pretty genuine. It's pretty funny. Oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> wow, look how excited she is. Dude. I mean, wow, dang. Wow, that's like, that's some dedication. You hear about like Chinese Olympic athletes going like crazy in the train. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so she's like, yeah, I already did the best she, I yeah, could. Yeah, she's already happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so now, so now let's watch the final. Yeah. So before she didn't even know that was like she was so happy that yeah. was just the semifinal. Yes. Yeah. So, so here's, the, here's final. the final. Full screen? Alright, so she's giving someone a hug. Yeah. Probably a teammate. Chinese teammate. <laughs> she's like, it's too fast. Uh, oh, you broke the Asian record. What? <laughs> oh wow. It's pretty funny. Yeah, she's pretty. <laughs> Whoa, she just. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Sure, it's just funny. What? She says she crushed herself. Very tired. Huh. I don't get that, but anyway. Dude, I'm so tired. So she didn't think she won. <laughs> She's like, I'm third place? She just realized she she oh, won a medal. She's cramping. Yeah. Wow, so wow. that's probably the most expressive yeah. Chinese athlete right. I've ever seen in my life. And I and I love this because like whenever, dude, I've been watching the Olympics since I was like a child in America, summer and winter, every single year. Like I'm actually a fan of the Olympics, right? Like when I was little, I followed like Dan John, like all those guys. Right. Um, so what I always noticed with the Chinese and Russian and other countries, especially China and Russia, is that they never let their athletes sort of express who they are. It's always control, always control. So I really like it when athletes, especially star athletes, get to show just that playful side of theirs, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I really enjoy seeing that and I, and I wish that, you know, Chinese national teams, whether it's gymnastics, I mean, you see it all the time in gymnastics, that the girls in China, on the Chinese team, like they're just, they're very, like very stoic. Like, stoic. If they do well, if they don't do well, you can't really tell, you know? So, I, so I'm very surprised yeah. and pleasantly surprised and I feel like she, deserves all of the praise that she's getting. And she's getting really famous right now. Like her new, like she did a live stream. She went from 100,000 followers on like Weibo live stream, whatever they use over there, to like 5 million 10 overnight. Million. 10, million 10 million overnight. 
She's she's a, well, she's insane. adorable. She's, she's adorable. adorable. She's adorable. I think that I think that you know when I was watching this, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so genuine. Like, mm-hmm. it's not that it doesn't matter what country you're from. She, um, right. I think amongst athletes, I guess athletes are under a lot of pressure. Right. They they're basically public figures, even though you know that's not really their job. Like, they're not like a celebrity per se, but they still put themselves out there. So they have to watch themselves really carefully. You really don't see an athlete kind of like is very. She's just got like this. Yeah. How do I say this in English? Like she's got she's a like child's heart. Yeah, she's yeah, like yeah. A kid, well, you, know? you know what I love about her yeah. is the fact that she came in third yeah. and she was ecstatic. Yeah. Most people are like, they're like, mm. especially China. Right. Like if you don't get go, we're gonna shoot you. Like, right. I mean, that's definitely like Russia. I don't know about China, wait, but wait, like North Korea. That's crazy <laughs> stuff. Wait. But Chinese. Uh, athletes are they're like, they're like yo okay. get gold basically right but she like, didn't even know she got no, gold that's what I'm saying yeah. is that like when we're when we go to school if we don't get a we get shot right like we get what so she does she might she she wasn't even expecting to place right and she was like oh my god I'm that fast yeah and then she was like and then they were like well what about tomorrow the finals like right. you're you, you could win or she's like well I'm already happy yeah, about I, that she didn't care. I never heard that before yeah. usually it's like I need gold right where else my coach is gonna beat me right yeah. especially in China and Russia where I really feel like for the Olympics there's a chance to show off the the country's athleticism and especially in in these events gymnastics and, di- and uh, diving and swimming no I feel so. like if you made it to the Olympics even the semifinals you're obviously oh. an extraordinary athlete so I mean, I, but I think that that message is amazing. Is that you know she said something that I thought was really great. It's like you know I surpassed myself. It's like she's like I am not gonna compare yep. myself to other people. Right. Of course, you know this is a sporting event still. But she's like, but as long as I push myself to the best that I can be, then I'm happy with myself. Yeah. And I think that's a really great message. I think that's a good message for young girls out yeah. there to hear. I mean, all children who aspire to do great things. You know. And I like the fact that. The, the Chinese netizens, which are usually a rough crowd to, to please, <laughs> to say yeah. the least, bro. Um, they're, they're embracing her the, because yeah. they're like, she's so adorable, she's so genuine. She had a, the, the, the live stream, whatever, and people actually gave her like hundreds of thousands of yuan yeah. as little gifts like, and whatever. Like, and she's actually yeah. like, she's like, stop doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, stop she's doing very that. humble. But very even humble. While I was reading some of her uh, replies, she, she was really cute. Yeah. She's like, gang, 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 gang. She's like, she's like, she's like an adorable person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you could see, like, you could see. They're just like, oh my god, I got 59 seconds. Like, I'm yeah. not quite like that, but yeah. you know, so yeah. I, I really like that. It's a great lesson. Hopefully, people can like be well, like, you know what? It's the effort that counts. When you when you put so much pressure on young, I mean, these athletes are really young too. Right. But you know, like like just you don't even have to be an Olympic athlete if you're like just a high school student and your family's like really pushing you. If you don't get into the right college, all of a sudden your life is over. I mean, you know, even that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. I mean, think about how much pressure she's under yeah. and that she's able to do so well. You guys, I'll give you guys a little inner inner. Uh, knowledge of how their lives are because I actually went to school with some of these people. So some in China, pick people. Yeah. Dang. So in China, what happens is at least back when I was in China. Right. So here, what happens is like they what do, what do they do after school? They go to like a gymnasium, I guess. They want yeah, to be a gymnast yeah. on weekends. They train really hard. Yeah. And like after school, they go. But in China, there are, there's actually these things called athletic schools. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know these too. Like like to you show. Yep. Okay. okay. So <laughs> these kids are literally going there with the goal of going to the Olympics. Yep. So this whole school is basically like, you're going to school and you're training at the same time. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they, they don't have no free time. Right. The people I went to school with, their school was like shut down for a little bit, so they went to our class. Right. They were volleyball players of the Chinese, right. like they were trying to make it into the Chinese Olympic volleyball right. team. Mm-hmm. And they were all like seven foot like tall, whatever. And you know, back they told me like after school that so they had to go to regular school, my school. So right after school they had to go to their um, their practice. And yeah. I went to so one of these practices. It's insane. It wasn't like it wasn't like, hey, there's a nice court. No. It was dirt. Yeah. It was outside, it was dirt. And they were literally the coach was like, roll around. Like roll. Yeah. Hit roll. Or whatever they bump and roll, whatever. In the dirt. Like yeah. Rockster, like whatever. I mean, I don't know if that's the case everywhere, but at least the people that I went to school with, yeah. that's how they train. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure the conditions have improved now, I mean, but I'm pretty sure it's still really, really I mean, hard. Even if it doesn't, it really just shows you the stark contrast between like like our athletes here, they're pampered. They're pampered. Especially if you are a star athlete. Like you could get away with a lot of stuff, you don't have to do as well in school. You have all the nicest facilities. But in China, like what you said, it like this is literally I and I got a handed I don't like how the system is in China, where basically the government's like, "Oh, you could be a, you could, you got the bill to be a swimmer, to be a volleyball player, so let's enroll you." In. It's almost like the kid doesn't really have a choice because they're like, "Well, 
I mean, well, their that parents, is my, yeah. their parents would want them to do that because that, that's a path for them, right? And afterwards, afterwards, when you retire or you don't make it, like what happens to you? Whereas in America, like you can still go back into society. So that's what that's what I, you know, like it, I'm. Re- my heart goes out to these, especially these Chinese, and also in in cases in Russia um, where that happens as well. Like my heart goes out to it. Well, actually, it's like this: if you win, mm-hmm. if you win, you become a celebrity. You get deals, you get TV deals, movie deals, right. everything. You make it. Like nowadays, right. and like so, Roman Liu Xiang, like he was so yeah. popular. Right, the, but the if hurdler. you if you don't make it, then I, it. I actually don't know what happens to these people. Like if you don't perform well, at, yeah. say you, you make it to the Olympics and you don't perform well, or you can bring home a medal. And, and here's the thing: else. knowing that, see, not placing and getting a medal is obviously a, like a big difference, right? But she still had such a great attitude exactly. about it. And in the end, she did get a like a bronze medal. And she got a she bronze, got medal. bronze medal. Yeah. And you know that's obviously amazing. And she she actually said in the interview that. Oh, like she worked so hard yeah. towards the very end to like train for it, and she's just like, oh, you know, she, she suffered injuries. Yeah, she suffered a lot, you know. But hey, that's the first time yeah. you hear about that. I yeah. think that's really great that she was allowed to say things like that. Yeah, she, you know, actually shed a little light yeah. on, it. make it just makes her seem more human, yeah. you know. So I, I like that. I also like the fact that you know when we do live streams, sometimes we've done live streams a couple times. Yeah, it usually. The numbers dwindle. <laughs> it's not like you know what I mean. Like people yeah, show up, yeah. then after a while they're like, "This is so boring. I'm leaving." Yeah, first five minutes is a lot, <laughs> and then we're like, "Oh man." It's just, but this girl was on live chat for an hour, and the hour. number kept growing. Crazy dude. So kudos to her for that. It's a testament to her charisma. Yeah, that's awesome. Exactly. Awesome. Let us know what you guys think about this story. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.